folks so this here is going to be the install of the uh, Toto X10 this thing is their new top of line stereo you can get it in all kinds of sizes this is I believe the 7 inch which is large but they make this in, in several different sizes you can even get it in a big like a 10 inch screen a bigger one this wiring doesn't come with it I bought this separate this is uh, the wiring harness for the Bose Stereo Murano, and it comes with uh, RCA plugs. So I'm hoping this works because that's I have them plugged in correctly, and then this should plug right into the harness, and then we'll have to wire the rest of these in, which should be in this bag that comes with it, which comes with all kinds of stuff. GPS antenna. I use Android Auto and uh, that runs the GPS from your phone, so I'm not installing those. There is a camera that comes with it. Kind of like this camera comes with it. It sticks to your windshield. It comes with trim to cover the wire up, so you can put it like right down from your mirror. And then it has a little switch here, so you can move your camera up and down. Oh, mine has the 360 camera, I hope. I hope I don't I do not want to do away with the 360 camera. If this doesn't work out, who wants to see it go in this? Just questions. Okay, let's take your pills. Oh god. I had to document this. I had people at they're like You did this last time you documented. Well they don't believe that you're still bringing up pills out like a pill Nazi and because you got the stuff in your gut that we need to kill off. Yeah. That's why you're effed up half the time. I'm called fat. I'm scared. Why are you scared? She you misses take my it mouth all the time. I have to blow it off. Five second roll. I almost lost that one. <laughs> Here, we'll do two. Yeah. Oh, no! Every, every, every effing time. <laughs> all my good. evening pills are spread out on the dirty ground, and you're picking them up and putting them right back in the container. Okay. Okay, got one more in my hand. This one didn't fall. And that, if you clean it up, it's pretty clean in here. I blew them off. You're good. Would you eat off this floor? Would you eat off this floor? This isn't about me right now. Didn't you say I have a problem detoxing the chemicals and stuff? And you can make me eat my pills off of this floor? Here, let's do Cleo Silver now. Come on. Here we go. I, don't, I think this is a gimmick. It tastes like water. Choo choo train. <laughs> I don't know what this stuff does, but it just tastes it's like water. It's a little silver. Ready? Meow. <laughs> All right. That's a good boy. All right, you're done. I'm putting it in the truck. I just made. I I changed my mind. We're gonna put AI in the C10. <laughs> huh? Sound like a good idea, don't it? I think I gotta take the dash off. No, do I? I think I gotta take the dash pad off. Uh, only makes sense. It's going in here. I, th that PLZ stereo I got in here, it's okay. This thing is gonna be a huge upgrade in this thing. So, all right, let me, I made custom brackets. So this new radio, I'm gonna have to kind of like fit it the same way I did this one. This wiring harness I just put together, I can just take it back out because there's, I might have to take the harness off the back of the one. It's so let me disassemble this thing. I got to move the truck and everything. Let me disassemble this thing. I just, 
I don't want to put this in the Murano for no reason. I'll put it in this thing, it'll stay in this thing. And I can put... I have a camera, but I didn't finish wiring it in. But I think it takes the same plug. I, so the wiring's in there for that. Except for I don't have a front camera, which I can put in now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me let me situate things. Yeah, we're gonna do this. It does sound better than the other radio. Outside to all this, I thought it was going to be throwing it in. Totally did not even take notice. Notice all the thicker this one is. You see what, what I'm playing with here? This was way back in, and that's not going to work in this. But we at least get to preview it. will say this screen is very crisp and clear. Like... One of the clearest screens that I've had. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. It, it's a, it's very nice. It'd be nice if it'd work in my Lexus. I'd throw it in there. But yeah, it's. I need a wiring harness that will work with the trackpad, so I have like the mouse and stuff. And I'm, yeah, I'm working with somebody else about that. But yeah, it, yeah, I mean it's in there. <laughs> I thought about making it work like somewhere else like where the original vent was here but then I would have to dremel out that dash and remove part of the trim to even make it work there in the center and then I would have this hole up here from where I had the other screen so it's like what do you do I mean I could get another trim piece it is a possibility I am not opposed to getting a new one of these anyways even though because i really did hack this up and drum one out that top piece was a blank just a filled in panel so might might be able to to move this over but then i, I gotta oh i'd have to be precise i'd have to put the dash in and then figure it out that way it's a possibility though i think I think, honestly, I think I would look good right here. It's in a good spot, and it, that's where I put that at, but I think that would be a good spot for it. Let me do some measurements here and stuff. We might might have to move it. I need to make my, my mind here because with little to no modification at all, it'll fit top to bottom, and side to side, I'm going to have to take some out, so... I need to look at this dash and make a decision if this is what I want to do. <laughs> I, I, it, it's very possible to do this. The biggest downside to this is it's going to land itself right in this area somewhere. So I need to be precise 
if I'm going to do this, make this right. So I do, I need to cut the dash. All the wiring fits right over to it. Oh, I need to find this dash bezel thing first. All right, so we bought a new one. So I'm fully committed. <laughs> I'm worried. There's several things we need to do to get this ready to accept this. I need to figure out how far, which if I take that trim piece off there, it's going to give me a view to see how far out that sticks. And then I got brackets to screw into the back of that dash. And then there is a trim ring, which will really help us with narrowing down the cut that we need to do on the dash. I'm worried. Because da that dash is not cheap. So there's a trim ring. It's not a very big trim ring, but there's a trim ring. Now, I think there's always, say, we have a problem. Um... I think there's decorative trim pieces you can buy, like a fatter one, which might be a solution. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm still on the Well, see, here's my thing. I could put it. Hmm. Yeah, we could, we could do that. It's gonna have to sit back in. So once I get this cut, these cheap brackets they give you okay these are just cheap chintzy ones i'm going to show you we're going to mount these in here and then it's going to be hard to do uh, i think we can do it through the glove box and <laughs> through the old radio hole up here um put screws in through the radio to hold it in place all right so now you see how this dash is here are the brackets. You put them on like this, and I'm gonna leave them loose. I'm gonna have to figure out where, which end of that I want to dremel out. If I'm gonna to go to the right, or if I'm gonna to go to the left. But to do that, I need to set the dash back on. These I left loose enough that you can move them, and these are like fully adjustable. So I'm gonna leave them where they're at. If they need to come forward, backwards, that, that's how far in or out, you're gonna have your radio sitting in there. All right, so dash is on. Went and marked the insides of this with where I wanna cut at. And it's looking like, from what I'm seeing, we're gonna have to cut this way to make the radio fit. So we're coming this way. But I, I gotta be dedicated now. Are you guys as uncomfortable as I am right now? I, <laughs> this should work out. I'm going to have to cut a good bit more on this side. than, uh, And that bracket's going to have to be a different depth, but it should work. <sighs> there you go. It only made sense to go ahead and do that now. Um... Oh boy, I'm worried about how that's gonna look. All else fails, I found a bigger trim ring that I can fit around there. All right, so things I did off camera. Cut that hole too big. I, I, I don't know if it's too big. It's big. That's what she said. I just went past. When it comes to precision, that's why I'm not a, a custom builder. When it comes to precision, I don't. I don't have it. I just. It's not there. Okay. So I cut. <laughs> there's no turning back now. I ordered a bigger trim ring to go around the outside of the stereo. That's not going to stop us from what we're doing right now. I need to see. If the radio fits in that hole, let me go grab it. If the face of it will fit through, I'm going to call it a success. If it doesn't, I'm going to not call Okay, we're, we're very, very close. Very close. A little bit more trimming, guys. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll be there. Finally, at a point where I'm okay with it. It's, it's tight. But it's going to fit, okay? That's what she said. I think this is going to look good when it's done. So let me just fast forward because 
this is a, a lot in a video all right so from what i'm looking at i'm gonna have to take out as you can see over there and then i'm also gonna have to take out some of this top because i'm the radio is not down far enough um i should uh, i can't set the radio in there but as you can see it's gonna sit like this if i didn't take the top off i would have to tilt this and i do not want to tilt this i want it to sit in there straight did it kids I did it it doesn't look too bad when I put here I'm gonna put a superficial trim ring on right now but I get a real trim ring on there it's not gonna look too bad I did it kids I did it I actually turned out really decent I think it did and uh, once I get that trim ring that I ordered it's gonna look even better so let me show it to you. I don't think that's too shabby at all. Now, this trim ring, like I said, it it's too big, so it kind of droops down, so it, it looks awkward right here, but I tightened these up once I got it adjusted where I wanted it. Now... If uh, I was going to redo that, like if I needed to take the stereo out or whatever, I would, you would take the dash off, which is not hard to do, but you take the dash off and then take the four screws out of the front of that bracket and then you can just pull it out. That's the way I wanted to make it. So yeah, that, that's not too shabby. It, you know what I mean? For as much work as it was, I was worried that it wasn't going to turn out too good and that's actually pretty good. So once I get my my new uh, dash piece here, then I can complete this. It just has a plug here that I've, actually it might even have a pocket. I can't remember, but this is going to be uh, filled in here. Your mom. Mm -hmm. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How can I assist you today? Your mom, can you finish building this truck for me? I'm here to help with information and guidance, but I'm not able to physically build a truck for you. However, if you have any questions about truck assembly or need advice on finding a builder or resources, I'm here to assist you. Okay. So I set up two uh, activation words, okay? One is your mom. That is for conversation. So you have to set up two different ones. And I set up Stewie for actual controls. Mm -hmm. Turn on the radio. Whatever you love to watch, Pluto TV makes it easy with thousands. Stewie. Mm -hmm. Turn off the radio. Your mom. Mm -hmm. What's the weather look like tomorrow? I'd be glad to help you with that. To provide an accurate weather forecast, I'll need to know your location or the city you're interested in. In the drive chat setting, you can change your language, you can change um, how they speak, these are different voices, I don't like how it doesn't play them when you select them so you know what they sound like, but you just basically have to pick one and see what it sounds like. Right here is where you manage your wake up words, so I have Stewie and your mom, which is probably going to get confused now. Um, Here's the switch buttons if you've got, um, I could put one of these controls on the steering wheel. I'm not going to. Uh, it's just as easy to reach over here and control the thing or talk into it. The microphone's built in right here, so it hears everything I say. Anyways, kids, it's way past my bedtime, but if you guys want to get your hands on the Atoto X10, I only promote stuff that I really like, and you know that, and if I don't like something, I'm going to tell you about it and tell you if it's junk or whatever. Out of all of the off-brand radios, a Toto is by far the best one that I've used, okay? A Toto, all the radios, a Toto radios I've used are the best ones. Now, they're a little bit more than some of the 
other ones, but they're still cheaper than buying like a Pioneer or a Sony or, or something like that. The, the screen quality on this thing, and I'm sure the fit and finish would have been easy on a vehicle that it would be easy to put an installation kit and stuff. I went totally custom on this thing. Looks good. I actually really like the placement and everything. So if you want to get your hands on this radio, there's going to be a link down in the bottom. If they give me a discount code, that's also going to be down there in the description. Get your hands on that. And if you like this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing. Hit that dislike button if your mom likes it when I punch holes and things. And we'll see you on the next episode of Unwrapped. What are you doing? What were you doing up there? Hmm? What are you doing down here? What? Yeah? Your meows are quiet. What are you doing? Oh, yeah? You play the toy? Look at this cute little guy. <laughs> Why are you reaching for the camera? He said, uh, keep your camera out of my face. You want to say bye-bye? You want to wave? Bye-bye. Don't you bite me.